up guys so today I'm gonna be boiling some skulls I got a buck skull right there and I got some raccoon possum fox armadillo skulls in there left over from the trapping season so I'm gonna show you guys how to clean them and then you can either sell them or use them as some creepy decorations but this is pretty good because a lot of skulls are known to carry a lot of diseases and you don't want to risk that when you're handling them so First off, I'm going to be getting some rocks from around the area. To I'm going to get three big rocks, place them on either side so I can place the old fire pit I found laying around on top of it. You really, you can use any metal bucket, it just has to have no holes in it so it can hold water that you're going to pour into it. So then I'm going to get a rage, raging fire going, then I'm going to place that on top, pour the water in. Yes, I'm going to use a lighter. Alright, the fire's pretty decent right now. I'm gonna go ahead and place the old fireplace on there. Okay, so it's gonna have to settle a little bit because the fire's still kinda high, but it'll eventually fall down and rest on here. And then, we will start the clock. Check that out. Alright, we're set, man. Here we go, full of water. Alrighty, so this is going to take a long time to heat up, but we're just gonna sit around, wait around, start feeding the fire with little sticks, keep the fire going, cause this kinda blocks a lot of the oxygen, so it's gonna make the fire go down a little bit, but just keep at it and you'll be fine. And then you just pop these guys under there. I don't know if you can tell, but those are little tiny bubbles in there. That way you know it's almost about to boil. Alright, while well, the water is heating up, I'm going to be getting these skulls ready to be placed in the water using this. But first, I just want to show you which ones I have. This one right here is the first red fox that I got. You can see it's the largest of them all. Check out those front teeth. It's pretty sweet. And then his bottom jaw is right here. And then I got this one right here, it's the first gray fox that I got. Um, this one I actually, this one had mange, so sadly I could not keep his fur, as you probably remember in that video. And then I got two raccoons here, just look at them. Oh, his tooth fell out, I'll have to put that back in there. And then here is a possum. You can tell the difference between these two because the raccoon is a very round, solid skull, and the possum has a rather like, kind of like a, an arch in the top of their head. It's kind of weird. Their teeth are about the same size. Possums are a little skinnier, but they're pretty much the same. And then here's the armadillo, the one that was tunneling under my house. See, his shell is very interesting. I'm hoping when I boil them that the armor on the top stays on there. I've never boiled one of these before, but I'm guessing it does not. Oh, all his teeth fell out. So um, what I'm gonna do is get some of this. I'm just gonna clip off a piece around here. There we go. Okay, I got this short piece. I'm gonna take the skull 
and I'm going to wrap it around it just like this. Now we're going to want to put the skulls in upside down. Now we're going to put them upside down so their teeth don't fall out, even though a lot of these have missing teeth already. But we're going to try to make as least teeth fall out as we can. Alright, before you boil skulls, you're going to want all the skin to be... You want as much skin taken off as you possibly can get. Like these have been sitting out like a whole year. So they're pretty good. Let's see the deer here. Still has a little bit of crap in there. I'm pretty sure there's still stuff in his brain. But it should be fine. That's the majority that's taken off. Just if there's too much crap on there, it's not going to come off when you boil it. And you're just going to have to keep on working on it. Oh, smoke's coming my eyes. Alright, so it's boiling right now. Um, you can see it boiling all over. I'm going to go ahead and put the skulls in and start the timer for 30, 35, 40 minutes. Again, I'm going to try to put them in upside down so that the teeth will not fall out and leave the side hanging out like that. Let the brain fill up with water. You can see that's the brain hole in there. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get the deer first. Well, it looks like there's not enough water. I think I should be fine. I'll end up just cleaning them off some other way. But he's pretty well covered. Now even if the wires fall in the water, I can just get another wire and fill it in that way. So it's all right. Here's the armadillo. And then I'm gonna get these teeth in there. Bottom jaw, of the my first red fox. All right, so I'm setting the timer for 30 minutes and then I'll see how they look after that. Then I'll pull them out and show you how nice they look. Uh, you can see they're kind of floating up in there a little bit, kind of moving around. It's all right as long as they don't flip completely over. Check out all that stuff coming off of there. Ew. Check that out. Some hair. Improvise. All right, it's been 35 minutes, and the water has evaporated a lot. So barely any of the deer is covered now, but it still, still should be all right because I was just splashing it with really hot water for a little while. It, is, it at least is uh, sterilized a little bit. And now I'm gonna take them off. Okay, you can see the teeth stayed on there and there's still a little bit of crap on there, but you can just scrape that off. And then uh, later I'm gonna get some Dawn soap and wipe down the antlers so that it is completely clean. And I'm going to set that over here. Grab some of this. See? That's the teeth. They look still pretty gross. Looks like this guy picked up all that, that dude's hair. All right, and that's everything. So yeah, you're gonna wanna clean these off a little bit more. They still have some crap all over them, but they are sterilized completely, so you don't have to worry about any diseases. And then uh, also another thing you can do is you can paint them with this uh, gloss kind of stuff, and it gives them a nice white shine, and it makes it look really good. All right, so now what you're gonna do with all this excess water, you're gonna let it cool down, and since it was cooking in all this rotting flesh it has a lot of nutritional value so once you cool it down you're gonna put it in some water bottles and you're gonna take it with you and just drink it whenever you get really hungry I'm just kidding don't do that but you could do that only do that if you're dying yeah so I'm gonna go rinse them off in the hose and take off all the 
the extra crud that's on them, and then they should be all looking all nice. Just wash it, just brush it off with anything you got. Alrighty, so I just washed them off. You can see it's pretty clean. It's not white. Like I said earlier, you can paint them. We got these here. These are a little darker because they were sitting out a little longer. They're a little more stained. But that's alright. These are pretty good. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we'll be making more hunting videos soon because I know that's what everyone wants.